guys, so if you've been watching our videos, then you've seen that over the last few weeks we've been focusing on my parents' place. And I'm excited to say we are finally ready to do a large project here at our new house. Now I'm going to start here in the garage. If you're new to the channel and haven't watched our empty house tour, then go ahead and click this card here to watch it now. For those of you who have already seen it, you'll remember that the garage was very dirty and had a lot of stuff left in it from the previous owners. That hasn't changed because I haven't had time to do anything about it. So in this video, I'm going to show a total garage transformation. The main focus of this project will be cleaning up the garage and painting everything. I want to paint both the walls and the floors to include the closet floors. I also want to change out the lights here in the overall garage space and the closets. All these lights are really bad. Now I could just replace the bulbs and get a lot more light, but I really want to replace the light fixtures themselves. They just don't look very good and they're just not attractive for the overall space. Alright guys, this is day one of the garage transformation video and we're going to do this a little bit differently, going to incorporate some vlogging aspects into this video so we mix things up and see if you guys like this. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on getting the garage closets cleaned out and moving everything here to the center of the garage floor. So I'm going to start by getting the car out of the garage and then going to focus on the closets. And I'm going to divide this video up essentially into two parts. We're going to focus part one on all the closet spaces and all the pop outs. And we're going to take care of all that area first and then in part two, once we've got all the closets finished, we're going to focus on the main floor. So we're going to start part one right now, probably going to last five days and then probably have a two day break to let the closets dry and fully set for that paint and then start part two and hopefully complete part two within a five day time frame. So overall, I'm hoping to complete this project over a 12 day span. So we interrupt this broadcast for a severe thunderstorm and tornado warning. So we had to put everything up, uh, pull the cars back into the garage, scramble around outside and grab up all the patio furniture and put it up on the patio where it's a lot safer. Hopefully this storm will pass in a little bit and we'll be able to get back to work. If not, we're probably going to lose a whole day's worth of work. So yeah, fun.
Okay, so day two. Yesterday was complete loss because of a storm, which really uh, equated to nothing. It basically just barely watered the grass, but it threatened to do a lot worse all day. So we lost all of yesterday on day one, and now we get to put everything back that we had started with. So we're basically starting from scratch again. So hopefully we'll get a lot more accomplished today and be able to catch up and still accomplish day two's tasks. Lawnmower jack, because everyone needs one. That wasn't quite as bad as I thought it would be. There were definitely some uh, tough moments there. A few little places where got kind of got a little bit stuck and it was difficult, but overall I expected it was gonna take way longer. It was very solidly built, but they just used nails luckily the whole time. I didn't see any screws because that would have been a really big pain if they had used screws in there that were hidden and out of sight. So overall, I'm really happy with the way that came out. I only had a little bit of wall damage. Got a couple of places, I think three or four, where the uh, pry bar went through the drywall, but I can patch that easy enough. And then I've got two spots on the concrete where they nailed in there, and I'll have to patch that. But again, it wasn't very deep, and I've got a patch on hand, so it worked out pretty well.
day four of the project, the closets are now clean and it's time to start priming and painting. are now fully primed so I'm going to start with painting the ceiling. Now I'm going to be using a ceiling paint that goes on purplish pink and it will dry white hopefully so you should be able to see it pretty well here on the video. After I'm done with the ceiling I will do the walls and then I'll do the shelving. And last of all will be the floors so I'll probably have to hold off to the very end to do all the floors last once I have everything painted because right now it's kind of starting to take a little longer than expected. <music> Yeah, so I definitely lost track of what day it is in the project. I think it's day eight. I had to take a couple of days off to go back to the warehouse and get some stuff from there and just do some basic work there to maintain it. So we're back at it here. The closets are coming along. The ceiling is fully complete and the shelving should be done either today or tomorrow. And then we can start on the walls and then hopefully get some stuff moved back in here soon. Um, the area where the workbench was, I'm about to start on that. The drywall compound that I had to use to fill all the holes over there is finally complete and I've patched all the large holes. Took a little while just because temperature keeps fluctuating and it's been slowing down the drying process of both the compound and the painting. And then I've also started working on the back wall because I just needed to do something while waiting for paint to dry. So I'm gonna throw some primer on that today as well. And definitely considering splitting this video into two sections so it doesn't get too long but I want this area complete so I can show you guys the finished process in here and then another thing that's kind of extending the length of the video is we've kind of changed our minds on what we wanted to paint the main area of the garage and we're gonna go with a uh, three color paint scheme out there so that's definitely gonna extend the video a little bit as I wait for each section to dry so I can paint the next area All right, so that concludes part one of the garage makeover. I am hoping to finish this up here with just a two-part series. I do have some other projects going on, so that has extended the overall amount of time that I've had to work on the garage and just some bad weather here and there have also slowed down the process. So I do have a major project I want to get to on the inside of the house, and I can't wait to show you what that's going to be. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe and click the bell so you know when the next video is coming out. And we'll see you next time on the DIY Grunt.